please like, comment, and subscribe. When we wake up spiritually, we understand it's us. It's our own resistance. And life is simply showing it to us. It's mirroring it back. So the more we fight, the more conflict we will experience. Because life is simply echoing whatever we are sending out. So when you're sending out your fear, you know, that's what you will be experiencing. You know, life will have to create situations where you can experience it so that you can work with it and work your way through it and eventually see the illusion. And then the concept of strength and resilience changes because in the beginning it's about fighting the world and standing for what's right and, you know, and it changes. And you understand and realize that the fight is internal. It's between you and as essence and your own resistance. That's the battlefield. It's not the world. It's you. And then you realize, yeah, I've been feeling like a battlefield my entire evolution. Because that's what we feel. That's what it means to be an individual. We are all at war with ourselves because all these different aspects, everything that we're studying, everything that we're lear learning, it's all out of tune because we haven't figured it out. But when we start waking up, we get the connection with our own essence, which is the ultimate tuning fork. And we start withdrawing from the outer conflicts. And when you're saying, oh, I got more than enough just you know, tuning myself, you let others be. And you certainly do not try to change the world because you understand that's a violation. And it's completely unnecessary because the world is simply the collective of individuals also in their resistance and trying to figure things out. You can't force someone to grow. Evolution is slow, and it's up to each and every one to figure it out you know, on their own terms. So you let them be. So the strength you need is to stand up to yourself, to stand up to your ego, to stand up to your illusions, to make those hard choices where your genetics your chemistry, your memories, your narratives are telling you that this is right. And you feel yourself being pulled and you just said, uh-uh, no. Not going to happen. That's where you need your strength. That's where you need your resilience. It's not to fight the world. And gradually, you win. As you gain strength, as you gain insight, you're able to stand up in yourself, in your own battlefield, and gradually the conflicts will diminish. Dragonstone assists you in all of these calibrations. But you need to see your fear complex and how much it's influencing you and also how silly it is. Because when you believe in your fear, you're stuck in it. Make a decision that from this moment, fear will not tell you what to do. You can listen to it because it's there as part of your genetics but you don't have to let it make decisions. Never make a decision based on fear. Make a decision based on what you can accomplish. Make the decision based on how much unfoldment, how much growth, how much feeling, um, 
healing, not feeling, but feel, feeling as well. Healing can be gained. Not about how much can be avoided, because that's what fear is about. Learn to aim directly at your fear. Learn to aim directly at your pain. Learn to aim directly at your excuses.